So today I have a whole bunch of stuff to unbox and review, um, which means I'm going to take my camera and point it down. I just want to do a quick <laughs> intro. Um, so basically I ordered a whole bunch of stuff on AliExpress for my dolls. Um, and I got a couple of things at Five Below and I just feel like showing it all off. <laughs> so, all right, let's 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 look at some of this stuff. So the first thing I have, um, I reviewed one of these dolls already on my channel. Um, <laughs> let me just get this. Let's do it, there we go, okay. So I reviewed one of these dolls already, the Lady Dooley dolls. Um, and I have her right here so I can <laughs> there we go. So I can dress her once I unbox this. Um, so, yeah, I got this. These are the different outfit options. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite that I'm hoping for more than the others. I do, even though it's pink and I'm not usually a pink fan, um, this is like a little Maury style kind of coat and it's really cute. Uh, so I'd be really happy if I got that one. I also really like number six, um, with a little like oversized sweater and little shorts and it's hard to see on the camera, um, but it has thigh high socks and sneakers. Um, so I think those two are probably my favorites. I also really like this one up here though, the little hat and like the little safari style outfit. That one's super cute. I'd be happy with any of these, honestly, um, but I think those are probably the three I would get most excited for. So, I'm gonna, it looks like I just open it here. So let me do that. Okay, and then open this. And um, just a quick little re-review of the doll. So, she has these really cute little eyes. Um, I just want to do a quick <laughs> review of the pros and cons of these dolls because I have this much nicer camera now. Um, they are really, really cute dolls. She has gorgeous, very soft, very shiny hair. Um, and they come in, they all come in these same little pink and white PJs with the little sneakers. Uh, so I'm going to take those off and show her little feeties. Come on camera, there we go. There's her little feeties. So she has the toes sculpted both on the top and the bottom. Come on, focus. It wants to focus on her face and not her feet. Let me put her face completely away. There we go. Anyway, uh, I just think that's a nice detail when an inexpensive doll sculpts the toes on the bottom of the foot as well, because not every doll company does that. Um, actually, let me undress her so I can show her whole body detail again. And you do have to take the heads off to undress them because there's no closures on the little pajama top. So you have to take the head off and then you just pull it over. And same with the bottoms, there's no like Velcro or snaps or anything. So you just pull it off. I'm gonna point her toes to make it a little bit easier. And then this is the body. There's a lot of joints to it. It's a really detailed jointed body. You have the little, come on, little Lady Dooley logo back there. Um, cute little belly button. So they're a slim OB11 size. Um, they're not like the chubby baby body OB11 size. So it's a little bit more of a challenge to find clothes that fit them. I have tried to order some things and just found that because they're this slim size, it's a little more difficult. Um, anyway, yeah, so they have ball joints at the hips and a double joint knee, um, ball joints in the elbow and the wrist, even though my camera doesn't want to focus, and a ball joint on the neck. Uh, oh, and ball jointed ankles. 
So I'm actually, let me not put her head back on because I'm going to have to put the clothes on. Okay, so you can see on the front here, it says contains accessory dress shoes because each outfit is like a full top and bottom um, and you get an accessory, which is, it looks like for most of them, it's a hat or a headband and then you also get shoes. So like all of them have a head accessory. They look like they're really nice detailed outfits and based on just like how nice these little PJs that they come in are, like they're stitched really well. The fabric is a nice quality. It's not like the tissue weight um, fabric that I would expect for a doll at this price point because when I bought my doll, she was under $20, um, I believe. And they're now listed for like 25 so they have, they seem to have gone up a little bit, I'm guessing, because the demand when people realized they were actually nice dolls. Um, so everything seems to be in one pouch. And let's see which one I got. Is that all of it? Yeah, okay. It looks like I got um, this one with the brown jacket, maybe which is a lot cuter in person than it is in the picture, in my opinion. Because um, that wasn't one of the ones I was super excited about. But looking at this, I'm kind of changing my mind. <laughs> um, anyway, let's get this out and dress the doll. So here's the little pants. Oh, they're pleated and everything. Oh my gosh, look at that. They're so cute and so tiny. Okay, these do have a Velcro closure which I'm not surprised by because they're not a stretchy fabric like the PJs. So I may need to steam these a little bit. Um, I wouldn't want to iron them because it does feel like they're probably synthetic. Like this, this is not cotton. So I wouldn't feel comfortable putting it under an iron, but like it's a little bit wrinkled from being, you know, packed up. So I may, I may steam these later when I'm working on all of the many other things that I bought. Um, but there's the little pants on. They're a good fit. I didn't have to tug them on too hard or anything. So that's always really nice. With these tiny dolls, you really do want everything to fit kind of nicely. Okay, so the shirt, again, no closure, but super stretchy, really, really stretchy. So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, <laughs> just got to put her arms up like she's going for a dive. This may be a little more difficult to wriggle on because it's so slim. And I may actually have an easier time if I... Can I pop her hands off? Do they come off? Oh, they're not coming off easily, so I'm not going to force it. I kind of wish the hands came off. Um, oh, although, on second thought, that slid over her hands really easily. I didn't expect that to be that easy. <laughs> That's a pleasant surprise. Okay, so that went on really, really easily. <laughs> okay, if I can just get it over the fingers. It's kind of a slinky fabric, so that make, I guess that makes sense that it slides on really well, but it also wants to slide back off. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to get this, I'm going to get it. There we go. All right. Little bit of a fight with that. And I'm actually going to tuck the shirt in just because I think it's going to look a little weird if I don't, because it's this slippery fabric and it's not really going to stay down over the waistband of the pants. So I'm going to tuck that in. And, oh, the Velcro doesn't really allow for the shirt to be tucked in. There's not really a whole lot of extra room in there. But that's okay. It's in the back, and it's going to be covered by the little jacket. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm going to put her head back on. <laughs> All right. So that's two pieces of this. And next, the jacket. The jacket feels kind of like the same sort of synthetic polyester type fabric as the pants. 
So it's not like really cheapy feeling or anything. It does feel like it's a nice quality. Um, it's just, it doesn't feel like it's natural fibers. So I'm not gonna wanna iron it. But the jacket thankfully doesn't look quite as wrinkled as the pants. So it also doesn't really hang open like it does in the picture. But I think that's okay. It still looks really cute. I think if I put a little belt or something over it, this would be adorable. And I'm actually not a huge fan of how this shirt is just wanting to like slide around. Can you see that? Like it's just sliding up her belly because it's the slippery fabric. So I would probably style it with the coat closed anyway. Um, I do think that jacket would have looked nicer if they had put buttons over it. I happen to have some buttons right here. So I'll probably put a couple of little buttons across the jacket um, and maybe a snap to close it. Or I might just make her a little belt or something, but it's really cute. I do like it a lot. This is definitely an outfit that I would pay 20 20 to 25 dollars for um i think it's definitely worth the price and i will definitely be buying more especially because it's kind of hard to find um cute outfits for dolls this scale that are slim bodied most of the ob11 stuff that i can find that's in styles that i like is more for like the baby body dolls um so that's not really as cute as the little face is, I'm just not into like the toddler style clothes on dolls, if that makes sense. I kind of like to dress them more like Maury style um, when they're this size. I just think that like little dresses and aprons and things look much cuter. So, okay, here's her little hair, bro hair bow. Um, it's not centered, which <laughs> as somebody with actual obsessive compulsive disorder, like that does kind of bother me to a point where I may not put it on her because I think that I will have to physically restrain myself from trying to alter it to make it more centered. Um, even though I think that that's probably how it's supposed to be because it does actually cover the whole metal clip by being asymmetrical like that but I just don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't like asymmetrical bows I really don't they just aggravate me it's really pretty though like it's nice this is kind of a cheapy feeling fabric but it's like the accessory it's not the main focal point of the outfit so I don't mind if that's a little bit cheaper um, and the shoes actually are really nice quality um, I'm actually curious if these would fit my Dow doll um, or like a pull-up maybe because they're kind of long on her feet like you can see her foot only Oop. <laughs> I'm trying to find my camera here her foot only fills about half of the shoe so I think that these could even work for like some of the smaller feeted fashion dolls like pull up um that's kind of nice but they're super nice quality like these are the same quality as other shoes that i have from my aliexpress haul that i paid significantly more than what these would round out to because for twenty dollars if you count that this is like the outfit's probably like $15 of that, right? So the shoes would be like the other five and then I would consider the cheapy little hair bow as like the free gift that a lot of shops will send. So yeah, these would have been like five bucks maybe out of the 20. Um, and like I paid almost $9 for these boots and totally worth it though, by the way, <laughs> like they're nice boots. But anyway, that's that's this outfit reviewed. Um, definitely worth the money. Definitely going to buy more of these. They're very cute. Um, and I kind of want to just get more of them. And unfortunately, unlike the dolls, it, I haven't found anywhere where you can buy the outfits unboxed. So I think I'm going to have to keep buying the blind boxes. Um, 
I may, if I get doubles of outfits, I'll probably just sell them. <laughs> um, I'll put them like on my Instagram or something. So anyway, I know that there were a few people that watched my Lady Dooley doll review and were hoping I would review the outfit sets. So now I have. Actually, let me put her old clothes in here. I don't want to lose any of this little stuff um, because I don't have the plastic shoe box that I keep all of my small doll things in handy. I don't know why I didn't think to grab it, but I just didn't. <laughs> so, all right, that's, that's that reviewed. Um, let's do the other shoes because I bought a whole bunch of shoes. So the first pair of shoes I bought, I actually already have on Emily. Um, she has this dress on. It's a dress and apron set that I got in a swap. Um, and then this little bunny accessory was sent to me by my friend Anthony, who sends me all kinds of really awesome doll things. So thanks again, Anthony. Um, yeah, so I dressed Emily for spring recently. And this set I got in a spring swap last year. Um, and it was one of my favorite pieces, but it just, like, I had to wait for spring to put it on again because it's... It just feels like I don't want to put something with flowers on it in, like, snowy weather. I don't know. I feel weird about it. Anyway, um, I bought these orange socks to go with this set. Um, and they're, they're more orange in person than they look on camera, but they're not quite as bright as the apron. Um, so it makes them blend really nicely with this um, dress print, the fabric print, I think. Um, and the, the socks I got from Miniature Diary on AliExpress, I bought socks from them a bunch of times. They're always really nice. Um, they fit every style of body that I have my Blythe dolls on equally well, so that's always a bonus. Um, I can't remember if I got the shoes from Miniature Diary too. I'm not sure. But, so they're supposed to have this, um white background behind the ears but one of the boots came without it so I just tucked that down so they look kind of the same but I love these bunny boots I have a pair of them in black and white on my bunny doll hazel um but I thought in brown and white they would look really really cute with this spring set and just as like a Mori girl kind of shoe um and since Emily is my Mori doll who generally models all of my Mori girl outfits um she of course got the bunny boots first so that was part of my order um i also got i think i got these from the same shop that i got the bunny boots from but you can find these boots everywhere these are the ones that come with the little painted on um red heart i just took the heart off to make them a little more Oops, easy to style with more outfits. Um, I have a couple pairs of these in black and I've painted like little skulls and things inside of the heart to make them fit my style a little bit more. Um, but for the white, I kind of wanted these to be another, again, like Mori style shoe. Um, and I don't do a lot of red with Mori outfits. So I kind of, <laughs> I figured that taking the hearts off would make them a little easier to style. Um, yeah, they're pretty standard. They're not like super high quality, but they're very inexpensive. You can find them pretty much everywhere. Um, if you search Blythe boots, like those are the first style that's going to come up pretty much anywhere you look. Um, and then the other shop that I got my shoes from is Tilda. Um, I can't remember. I think it's just called Tilda, but... If you search Blythe Tilda Boots, you'll find the shop. And they have a whole bunch of different styles. I just got a couple of kind of basic ones. Um, focus, please. There we go. These are the shiny patent leather style kind of combat boots. Um, pretty standard. And I got a green pair as well. Um, I have the pink or not pink purple with black polka dots in my cart right now to buy um in my next order so I am gonna start adding more colorful boots and I think that the tilde boots are like the nicest quality um 
Like this stitching is absolutely perfect. I've never gotten tilde boots that weren't absolutely beautiful. <laughs> like they look so good. They look like boots that I would wear. They're so nice. Um, and they're, they're good, like thick pleather too. They're not versus, you know, this vinyl, which is like a one ply vinyl versus a three ply. Um, so you can kind of see the difference in the fabrics here, which is why these ones are like $9 and these you can find for like three or $4. Um, there's like, there's a definite difference in quality, but sometimes you just want the cheap and that's totally fine. Um, and these are kind of an in the middle sort of shoe. These were not from Tilda. Um, these definitely are easy to find as well. They're just a pretty standard patent leather style Mary Jane shoe. Um, I just like the ones that have an actual adjustable strap and you have to adjust it really carefully because it is very thin and kind of fragile but that way you don't have like a huge bulky extra bit of strap hanging uh, when you put them on a Blythe doll because these are actually made for one-sixth ball jointed dolls so the strap is adjusted to be for a slightly chunkier foot so when you put them on a Blythe doll, you can just kind of gently pull that tight and then like trim off the excess and they look really nice. Um, and I think I paid like four or five dollars for these. Um, they have a rubber sole versus like, these are sort of like a hard plastic on the tilde boots and these are rubber. So there are minor differences, but I think they're still pretty good quality. So if you see these, these are another one that I recommend and they're pretty easy to find um, all over AliExpress and even Amazon I've seen them. And then the last one I got are just some Barbie shoes and I actually got these for my doll because her feet are a little smaller and you can see that the opening for these is pretty small. These would work for um, the standard Takara and the Lika bodies. For Blythe's but I would be really hesitant to try and put like the pure Nemo type doll to stuff her foot in here because I'd be afraid I'd yank the foot off taking them off um, but they work for dolls with smaller feet so I actually got these for my doll so just regular punky sneakers um, and that's all the shoes I got but I did also get some other fun stuff I got for my Pierrette style clown girl because um, she's going to be all black and white. I, of course, had to get her some balloons. Um, I don't have a holding hand on her yet, so she's going to have her little balloons for her photo shoot. Um, I also got her for Miniature Diary some socks, and they were supposed to be black and white striped, but they sent me gray and black. Um, I haven't decided yet if I want to try and get a refund. I think I'm just going to order them again and send a message to make sure that they send me the right color this time. Because I had the gray and black actually in my cart too and I just hadn't ordered them yet. Um, so I think I'll probably keep them only because, you know, I already ordered them. But it's the first time that I've had an order, um from Miniature Diary that had any kind of issues. So like, I don't want to complain, you know? They're a pretty good, pretty reliable shop. They generally send me the right thing. I think this was just like a weird little fluke. Um, and then I found this skirt from one of those shops that has like a bunch of numbers for a name. Um, but I kind of thought that layered over a black skirt would look really cool for her tutu. So I'm gonna try and do that and just layer them. Yeah, I like that. I think that that looks really cool. So that was what I wanted from that. It's too sheer to wear by itself, but I thought over the black would look kind of cool. Um, and she just has a t-shirt on, unfortunately. I haven't gotten around to sewing. Um, I have all of the little pieces for her corset, but I have to sew it and then age it. And I've just been dragging my feet. Uh, ever since I decided that I'm probably not selling her, I suddenly am just stalling on finishing her. I don't know why. 
Um, <laughs> I just can't make myself do it. But I also ordered a couple of different kinds of ruffles to do her neck ruff. Um, just because I wasn't really decided on which one I thought looked better based on the pictures. So I ordered two. And this shop sent me a little bonus of white and gold. Um, I don't really use a lot of gold, but I'll probably find a use for that at some point. So what I was thinking is I would just buy both because they're so inexpensive and then try them on and see which one I liked better. But now that I have them here looking at them, they're both really delicate and I think it might actually look kind of better if I layer them on top of each other and use both. I don't know. So let me just take them both out and lay them over and see what that looks like. Because I feel like that may end up being the way to go. Maybe because this one's a little shorter. We'll put this one on the outside. Although that almost, yeah, that's maybe too much. <laughs> maybe not both. I think that this one I thought looked better online, but now I'm glad I bought both because I think this one actually works better in person. And what might be even better than that is if I do two layers of this one because this is more delicate. I think that two layers of this will be just enough. Oh yeah, okay. See, that's perfect. That's a perfect little clown ruff, I think. In my opinion, anyway. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, and then I also was thinking of maybe covering the top of this skirt, just because it's not... It's not really the neatest looking thing. Although... I don't know. I do kind of like it. I think it works. Because I'm trying to get like sort of a shabby chic look with her. And I do think I kind of get that from the little skirt as it is. Um, so I'm not going to put these in here perfectly because I'm going to put them in my trim bucket <laughs> to be sewn with. Um, set those aside. And then I also got this smaller one to do little ruffles for her upper arms and thighs. So it's just going to do like a little ruffle. Um, but I'm not sure because now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't really match. Like this is more of like a really icy white white. Um, and I don't know because it's this uh, shiny tool. I don't know if it would hold dye if I tried to age it the same way as like the super soft one would. So I may end up using this one and just trimming it down. Um, and then let's see, what else did I get? What else did I get? I have a bunch more sewing trims. It's mostly sewing trims in these last couple orders. Um, I did get, oh no. Let me not knock my camera. I got some um, puff balls to try and make more ice creams and snow cones, but I ordered them um, first. The first time I ordered them, I accidentally ordered the wrong size and I ordered tiny. Um, so I don't know what I'll use these for, but I'll find something to use them for. And then the second time I ordered them, I think this is just slightly too big. So I still have the wrong size. I'm going to get the right size eventually. Um, I'm just trying to save myself the trouble of needle felting my own puff balls, <laughs> but we'll get there. Anyway, um, this is the last outfit that I bought and it's a repeat outfit. I just wanted another one, um, because I've decided I'm going to sell the original that I bought with my metal head boy. So it's just this little vest, um, and it's just a fake leather vest. And then this is the same black tutu that I have on Nanette right now. So I just wanted an extra vest so I can sell it with him. <laughs> um, and then I got this black crochet lace trim. 
and I think I bought a second roll of this same trim. It may be slightly different. I'm not sure. But this one also sends <laughs> some little thread and needles and stuff. I think this one is slightly narrower. Yeah. So this one is basically the same, but it's a little bit um, narrower. So I got this one to do like goth versions of the bell sleeve dresses that I have in my shop that have been really popular, um, really good sellers for me. And of course I had to get more of the white as well. It's the same as, it's the same as this one. It's just white. But because I've been making so many of those dresses, I had to, had to stock up. Um, this is actually very similar to that. It's just a little bit thicker or not thicker, um, wider. And then I also got, this is the last of it. <laughs> Coming to the end here, I bought this um, layered lace to make like underskirts for some dark Maury style outfits. Oh, it might even work for an overskirt because I could just put like a lace trim over this stitching here and it would look really nice. But it's just like a really standard layered lace. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. <laughs> I think there might be like one or two more things that I'm forgetting. I also, of course, buy less eye chip covers like every time I order from AliExpress but I feel like I don't really need to show those. They're not exciting. So yeah, that's it. Um, so I hope, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my review. I hope it was helpful. Um, here's that outfit again. Um, yeah, it really is, is a lot nicer than I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it wasn't going to be nice because the doll was really nice, but I just kind of figured for $20 to $25, like, and all these pieces, it would have to be super cheap, but it's not like this is, I mean, it's nice fabric. It's polyester. It's not cotton, but it's still like a decent quality. Um, other than the slinky t-shirt that I really don't like, <laughs> I'll probably make her a different shirt to go under just cause I hate that one. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'm actually about to end the recording and start a stream. So um, if these get uploaded on the same day, that's why. <laughs> um, I've had all this stuff collected that I've been meaning to do. Oh, I actually did forget a couple of things. But because I'm starting my stream late at this point, I'm going to open these on stream. So the other things I got from Five Below were this Gudetama and... A mini Squishmallow. So I'm going to open those on stream because <laughs> I'm going like 10 minutes over when I wanted to start my stream. Um, anyway, uh, I'll <laughs> thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.